Uh, good morning, guys. Um, this is what I actually look like. Um, this is what you see every day. And this is what I actually look like. I hope you're pleased. Um, this is Introduction to Engineering Design, and I'm hoping that you can see my screen right now. In addition to myself up on the little corner of your screen, perhaps. Um, not sure exactly how it works. It's only the second time I've done a video of this, of this nature. So Introduction to Engineering Design. Um, obviously, what I want you to do every day is look at this Schoology page. There is a course headquarters, which we've already covered pretty much, but start here is where you go pretty much every time, all the time. Citizenship, uh, you guys know about this. It's a score you get for being hardworking, for being helpful, uh, for taking care of each other, all those kinds of things. <clears throat> How to cam scan. This is something that first year students, which you guys are, um, uh, have a little bit of uh, difficulty learning just because it's clumsy. You will be fine if you need to look at this document. It helps you. Um, it's going to be good. Um, then announcements. Let's look at announcements, which of course you should be doing every day, whether you're here with me in class or whether you're at home, you should be looking at these announcements every day. And um, when you look at these announcements and you try to go to today, and by the way, I already saw you guys third block, no, second block, um, Wednesday, the guys that the students that come in on that day, I already saw you. So I'm going to, I'm going to tell you again, what I told you today, but if you're at home, then it's nice for uh, me to be able to tell you what we did today and uh, see if you can make any sense of it. Uh, so Wednesday, September 9th, block two, introduction to engineering design. Uh, what's late? 1.1.1. 1. 1. 1. Um, obviously our very first assignment, maybe it was confusing. Maybe we didn't know how to turn things in and by what, by we, I mean we, including me. And so if you didn't turn it in and if it wasn't any good, don't worry about, it. you can turn it in this week and there's no penalty at all. Um, now, this week we're doing new assignments, 1.1.3, 0.4, and 0.5. We've done 1.1.3, or at least we started it on Tuesday, and we're starting 1.1.4 on Wednesday. And so some of you are here on Tuesday, some of you are here on Wednesday, but no matter which, you're both, both groups are responsible for both assignments, as you will be responsible for the third assignment. But relax on the third assignment. It is not active. So I don't need you to do it. You can look at it, but you never know what change I might make to it or if I completely drop it. Friday is open. I don't know what's going to happen Friday. Um, I'm not going to assign you anything new. I, I will never give you a new assignment on Friday. Um, well, I shouldn't have said that. If I give you a new assignment on Friday, it would never be due that weekend. It would just roll over until the next week. Um, so what's due this weekend? 111 if you didn't turn it in. And then these three assignments. And again, that 115 could disappear by a Thursday or Friday. No one knows. Um, and then I was thinking about this idea that you have your teammates at home. You're in school and you work, and then you're at home and you work. And I've assigned two of you, one at home, one at school, to work together. And I need to know that you are communicating with each other and helping each other. So what I, here's what I've come up with. When you are in class, email your at-home teammate. And you should know who that is. I can tell you if you don't. Email your at-home teammate. When you're in class, email them and then tell them what we are doing so that they will you know, be a little bit engaged and, ki and kind of be aware uh, what we're doing as they're sitting at home. Um, and they will do the same thing for you the following day when your at-home teammate is at school and you become their at-home teammate, they will email you. And I wanna be copied in these emails. So you email each other, include me um, in those emails so that I can see that. Okay, so that's announcements, obviously. Look at that every day. Um, and this is a little bit of a problem. Let me see if I can uh refresh this a little bit so i don't have to abandon this video and start completely over um doesn't look good looks better okay thank goodness uh we looked at the announcements i think it said 1.1.3 and 1.1.4 the daily chat log i'm having a lot of trouble with it i'm just not sure it's worth the time project lead the way ied course page this will not open in schoology so you have to open it in a new tab and then there it is introduction to engineering design now we have already done or tried to do or pretended to do 1.1.1 and then uh, we skipped 1.1.2 because time was becoming an issue and then uh, yesterday which was Tuesday we did 1.1.3 if you were in class you did it if you are at home you were supposed to make an attempt at doing it and so 1.1.3 is sketching of course, you would write down in your notebook, do a very good notebook entry, table of contents, all that kind of thing. And you would write down the goals in your notebook. Um, and then for materials, various objects, the, all these resources, ordinarily we look at all of them. 
the only resource that you really need for this assignment is sketching tips guide. When you click on that, you open up a new new page that I want you to look at every every picture, read every word, and then I want you to take notes in your notebook entry. And what you do with this is every paragraph, I want you to write a note. So hopefully, by the time you have gone through this document and you've written a note for each paragraph, you'll end up with about 20 notes. So that will be that will be for, hang on, got to move this out of the way. Um, that will be for the resources. And then this video, I want you to watch it, of course. Um, you don't have to take notes on it. I think you'll be good just watching it. Um, and then it tells you to do a Project Lead the Way Engineering Notebook. Look at a link for that. You don't have to do that. It's already on the inside cover of your notebook. It tells you everything. You looked at it before. Look at it again. And then sketching tips guide. That's what we already looked at when you were looking at that, taking notes on that. So, you know, sort of go through the procedure and say to yourself, Mr. Bing, that said that's not necessary. Mr. Bing said we already did that. And now Mr. Bing is saying, <clears throat> excuse me, now Mr. Bing is saying sketch the front view of two of these objects. And remember the front view, the front view is not necessarily the front of the object. It's the most interesting view. It's the widest view. So the example that we used was a car. The front view of a car is not the front of the car. It's actually the side because it's the most interesting and it's the widest side has the most going on that we want to see in a sketch. So anyway, do two of those. Two from item four. Look at this little graphic thing. You don't have to take notes on it, but look at it. <clears throat> Peer review. Let's just skip all of that for now. And then here's another list of items. Pick two of those and sketch them. And uh, here's all these people, famous engineers or really impressive people that are in engineering. Look at that if you want, no, no notes necessary. And then conclusion questions, of course you have to include those. Now, all of that that I just said was 113, which was done on Tuesday by the kids in class. Well, now it's Wednesday and there's different kids in class. And so today, Wednesday is 114. Doesn't matter though, if you're in class or at your home, either way, you have to do it. Unfortunately, if you're at home, you're looking at a video. Here it is, 1.1.4, targeting success. Targeting, um, that has to do with accuracy and precision. We'll talk about that in just a moment. This one, we're gonna fake a little bit the way we faked in a similar fashion that we faked 111, where we're just sort of getting information out of the assignment, even though we're not doing all the hands-on activity um, that you would ordinarily be doing in clustered uh, uh, groups on a table, not observing any, any social distance. And so that's challenging for us now. So we're going to fake it. We're just going to go through this assignment. Uh, notebook entry, table of contents, date, and, and you, you uh, write down the goals. Uh, for materials, I would just write, you know, materials not used or materials not necessary. And the same thing for resources. You don't have to do that, but you do have to indicate in the notebook that there were materials and resources. It's just that we're not using them. Um, and then where it says new challenge, this is what we're going to sort of fake our way through. And we're going to get to this precision and accuracy. Take notes from this, a note per paragraph. Draw these four things in your notebook. Make sure you include all the little details of the, the, the scatter or actually not scattered in that case. And each of those has a meaning with precision and accuracy that I'm gonna let you figure out. Uh, and then there's a little practice quiz here. Take that if you like. And then it says, if we go quantifying accuracy, uh, so take a note on this um, and then skip down and quantifying precision, take a note on that and then skip down project and you skip the the uh the notebook and then uh conclusion questions um i only found one conclusion question that was relevant based on what we did and that's the first conclusion question so i went over that very quickly and uh that probably doesn't make a lot of sense you know all up front just thrown at you however there might be something i can show you that will help some um and that's the engineering notebook simulator I'm hoping you're looking at this every day. I'm trying to, to, to put this in just to give you something to look at so that you can feel like, oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. You're never gonna find like a complete assignment or, or answers, you know, it's just a visual guide basically. So here's what the table of contents would look like. I have four entries. I deleted one of them, but never delete, of course, just cross it out. Uh, and then, um, so the two assignments I was talking about was 113 and 114. If we look at 113 here, 
you see my engineering notebook simulator has all kinds of words that I, I told you that I wanted you to write down from the assignment and some sketches that I faked. I faked these sketches. Yours will be actually real. And then there are conclusion questions over here. So I like for my activities to be two, three, or four pages in the notebook. This one looks like it's two and a half, just depending on how you lay it out. Make sure you got the signatures and the dates and the team members and all that kind of thing. Now, 1.1.4. Here's the assignment I was talking about just a moment ago. Uh, goals, materials, optional, resources not necessary. Here's the precision and accuracy. There's the note that I took and the sketches I made or the sketches I pretended to make. And then there's some more quantifying accuracy. I don't know if I spelled accuracy correctly there. Uh, quantifying precision, uh, maybe it is. Uh, and then conclusion, there was only one conclusion item that was relevant. Make sure you have your signatures and date and your team, mem team members. Make sure that you put a big diagonal line um, in any open sections so it's just not left as a big open blank um, this is an engineering notebook side sort of practice draw that line through there and sign it there's my signature my pretend simulated signature okay so back to here um so engineering notebook project lead the way all right back in the main page for for your schoology course uh well there's a there's a virtual open house zoom link we're doing open house on thursday um, go to go go here, or I emailed this to you as well, and use that link and that password to do the to the, do to the open house on Thursday night. Um, and so, uh, here are the assignments for this week: one one three, and here's a description of what I wanted you to do. One one four, and here's a description of what I wanted you to do. The video that I'm making at this moment, I'm going to post in here which I don't know if that makes sense to tell you that because you're going to have to watch the video for me to tell you that the video is posted. So. It's like a time machine. Um, I think that's it for now. I guess I'm going to just stop doing this and push end and I'll say bye.